a tale of three protests is how one city commissioner is describing what happened in Portland Wednesday. First up, a Black Lives Matter rally at Irving Park. I feel like we can move forward. Things were calm. People were excited about President Biden's inauguration, but blunt about the pain that lingers. The sense of trust that so many people had in American democracy has been punctured by the needle of fascism. As the evening wore on, tensions elsewhere boiled over. Crowds dressed in all black marched through Portland, smashing windows at the headquarters of the Democratic Party of Oregon. And later, another crowd showed up at Immigration and Customs Enforcement offices along Portland's southwest waterfront. Portland police responded to both. Federal officers joined them at the ICE offices. Tear gas and flashbangs flew. Portland police saying that came from the feds. Quickly, arrests piled up. Portland police reporting eight total. Charges range from assaulting a public safety officer to carrying a concealed weapon to riot. Police released photos of the weapons they say they seized. By midnight, things had largely calmed down. It's time to push back harder against those who are set on destroying our community. The swift action by police comes three weeks after Mayor Ted Wheeler vowed to be more aggressive in stopping violent protests. Last week, the mayor said he had met with law enforcement agencies across the state to talk about how officers can rein this in. We need to improve our investigative strategies. It's going to require collaborations that don't exist, including stronger mutual aid at the local level. Thursday, Wheeler again condemned violence, adding in a statement, law enforcement partners in Portland on every level are committed to ensuring that those perpetrating these crimes in our community are arrested and prosecuted. At the same time, activists hope officials understand just because there's a Democrat in the White House, that doesn't mean the fears fueling Portland's protests go away. We've elected presidents before on a platform of hope and change, and yet we also know what just happened for the last four years. There are many of us out on the streets reminding, a powerful reminder, that there's so much work to be done. Maggie Vespa, KGW News.